So our question for today is on personal hygiene. So a lot of people get itching in their head, even if the uh, head is kept clean, there's a certain itching. So what's the cause of this and is there some remedy? Itching in the head is due to many, many factors, uh, Vishaka. Uh, one is uh, uh, you're supposed to maintain your scalp. So as you know that uh, soap and shampoo, the solid soaps are ma made with uh, sodium hydroxide. Sometimes they may not suit you. That may be one of the reason. Or shampoos are made with the potassium hydroxide. That may not suit you sometime because uh, they are all uh, called lye, L-Y-E, lye. So that may be one of the reason. If your scalp is completely dry, if you are not greasing it up by oiling your head properly, periodically, twice or thrice a week, uh, those days uh, people always, in the ancient days, apply oil every day to their head to keep the scalp, uh, the skin, uh, very, very uh, smooth and uh, greasy. Uh, be because uh, the, the scalp is totally a different type of skin compared to your other parts of the body. So you are supposed to maintain it. So if you are going to ask me, uh, even if I do all that and if I don't use soap or shampoo, if I am going to keep myself clean, if I am going to use traditional uh, stuff to wash my hair and all that and still if you are going to get itching in your head, in your scalp, then it is because of your uh, contamination of the blood. So it becomes uh, inflammatory. So all most of the skin problems uh, in any part of the body including the scalp are uh, basically uh, inflammatory disorders. There are certain unwanted uh, levels of inflammatory condition of the blood which are the result for uh, resulting in uh, various skin problems. So you have to treat yourself by cleansing your hematology. Uh, uh, any external application or anything to your head is not going to help. So it is basically an inflammatory problem. If suppose your hygiene is kept well intact and still you are, you know, uh, feeling uh, scratchy on your head or other parts of the body. So this is due to certain variations in your hepatology. Uh, that is because of the inflammatory, uh, unwanted inflammatory part of your blood. Hepatology is liver, study of liver is hepatology. Right. So um, because if the uh, capillary flows are not proper, you know, you always feel scratchy when some of your capillaries are blocked. So you tend to scratch that area where you are giving a pressure those are so that the blocked capillaries are released. Then the uh, scratchy feeling goes away. If the scratchy feeling is not going away in spite of you scratching that area, then the capillary is not getting released. So it is very important if you go through the net and if you see the number of capillaries underneath your skin, if you take one square inch of a skin, they would have shown in the picture how many hundreds and hundreds of capillaries are moved, uh, you know, placed out there. So capillaries are one sixteenth of a human hair. That is the thinnest blood vessel in the body where the blood has to flow to nourish that area. So capillary flow normally tends to slow down after the age of 35, 40. So your exercising, your body movements and all that create, you know, plays a lot of role in keeping your capillary flow going. So it depends on how good you take care of yourself with respect to your uh, environment uh, in which you are living, uh, the, the, the amount of pollution around you and then uh, you know the food and nutrition, the chemical contamination of the food. There are so many innumerable number of factors are there for this kind of a problem when the hygiene is maintained and the field, the head is going very scratchy that it is always better for you to look into the contamination inside your physiology. When you clear the uh, hep uh, hematology, the, the cleansing of the blood through some medication or the other, these scratchy feelings can be stopped. By externally using certain things, it may not stop. If it stops with external applications of something, it will be good enough that you are eliminated. So, 
these these are not inflammatory condition these are uh, these are not uh, infectious condition these are some of the inflammatory condition which with which it happens okay thank you